What's the name of it? What up, what up? It's Lupe Fiasco here, Shot Town Zone. You're watching Distortion 2 Static. You heard? Stay tuned. All right, so okay. First off, man, let them know where you're from, what's going on, where you're from, and what you're doing. Just let them know, um, brief little thing, what's going on. Lupe Fiasco from the west side of Chicago. Um, working on my album, my first solo album, Lupe Fiasco's Food and Liquor. Um, it's executive produced by Jay-Z. It's coming out on my label, first and 15th, slash Atlantic Records. Um, you know, big things, big things popping off. Yeah, man, you being kind of modest though, man. You got the whole buzz going on, man. Yeah. You got you got a lot going on, man. Yeah. And a lot of people haven't heard of you, just through the mixtapes at, at least. You know what I mean? So I mean, let them know how that came together. You got the cover of Fader and everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? How did that all pop off? Though, man? Just hard work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the, well, particularly the cover for Fader came from them listening to my music. And they were, at first they was gonna do like a small feature, yeah. then they heard the music and they'd be like, oh snap, we gotta do a lot more. So that 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 kind of goes across my whole career. It's like people were like, okay, let's just give them this little thing. Well, let's find out a little bit more about them. And then the interviews yeah. run longer. And uh -huh. then they'd be like the photo shoots run longer. Then it's like, you know, we need to come to Chicago and interview you in Chicago. You uh -huh. know, we wanna we wanna give you an extra hundred thousand to shoot your <laughs> video, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's like it all it always comes when people see all the work I put in behind the scenes. Uh -huh. They definitely be like, oh, okay, we gotta we gotta respect this gangster a little bit more. Uh -huh. so. Uh, so, so you're saying it all came from the quality of the music? Yeah, a lot of it. came from, I mean, the buzz. I mean, yeah, the buzz you get, is big. What bought them was, you know, like just the, the co signatures, you know, from Pharrell, from uh -huh. Jay Z, from Kanye, then doing the joint with Kanye to just like everything in between. So that kind of pulled people in, you know? Yeah. But then yeah. it, it pulled them into the music. So mm -hmm. when they heard the music that had got me to that point, it was just like, oh. Oh, we is something here. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So talk about. I mean, this didn't happen overnight, though, man. So nah, a lot of people nah, might nah. think it happened overnight. Nah. But I mean, let them know, like, you know, the grind that behind it, though, like how much work you put into it, it on the daily, and how, you know what you've done to get to this point. Shoot, this is my third record deal. I got my first record deal when I was in high school. I signed to Epic Records in a group called The Pack, mm -hmm. and that deal kind of fell through. Um, I started my company first and fifteenth with my partner Chili. Right after that. Um, did a production deal with Aris, the records like 2001, 2002. That deal fell through because LA got fired. Um, mm -hmm. During that deal, Jay Z came in as executive producer. Um, then after that deal, after LA got let go, we did the label deal, Atlantic Records. So it's been a total of like six years, you know, and actually five years working on food and liquor. Yeah, you know, just because yeah. it was the same late, it was the same album from Aris up until now. So it's been a, a heavy grind, a yeah. heavy, heavy grind. Definitely, definitely. So, I mean, shoot, you've been around for a while, man. I mean, not just you, but Chicago in the whole is blowing up. Uh -huh. And uh, why do you think it took so long for them to recognize you and Chicago as a whole? Well, I don't know. Me, I was just back. I was just me. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? I'll be laid back until it approaches me. Then yeah. I go. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. um, Chicago to me, Chicago been we been we've been, we been rocking. We had Common, we had Crucial Conflict, we had yeah. Twister, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Kanye, Ron Fest is coming out banging. You know, you still got kids like Bump J, you still got a bunch of kids that's like still rocking and, and doing things, you know. But for like the most part it's like I just think it's like everybody gonna get their time to shine. But I think Chicago been shining, so it ain't like no time to shine. It's just like we just gonna shine again. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, definitely, Keep it definitely, moving. Definitely. Okay, so what are you bringing that's new then? I mean, Chicago's been shining, uh -huh. but definitely there's a whole new movement coming out of Chicago, though. So what's new? What's coming out that's new? Um, you, you got like this conscious, stylish uh -huh. movement, definitely, you know what I'm saying, coming yeah, out yeah, yeah. between Kanye and myself, you know what I'm saying, like taking the regular people's hip-hop, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and pushing that to the forefront. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think you're definitely gonna see a lot more of that coming out of the city, especially when kids in the city see that it's, it's successful, mm -hmm. and the gangster stuff ain't really popping off no mm -hmm. more. You know what I'm saying? Or it's only gonna get you to a certain point. And when they look at the Kanyes and they look at me, and they look at the, the stuff I got from just doing this regular, you know, regular hip hop. You know, not not trying to do too much hip hop, and it gets you sneaker deals, and it gets you all these endorsements and stuff like that. I think you're gonna see a lot of kids shifting to that. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. I mean, you're a real cool, cool kickback kind of guy, man. I mean, you're not too much out there, but you're out there, man. You yeah. got the buzz going on, man. I mean, let them know, you know, kind of what your influences are and, you know, what's what's going on in the head of Lupe Fiasco. <laughs> it's a, man, it's a carnival in here. Man. Um, you know, I take a lot of, like, influences from, like, Nas and, and real left stuff, like MF Doom and, like, 
just jazz in mm -hmm. general, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I pull inspirations from everywhere for my music and what keeps me going. Um, you know, but my, my mind is a madhouse show. But mm -hmm. I, I couldn't even begin to tell you what my mind is thinking about, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I'm, it's like six, seven different things all at once, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that comes out in my music too, also on a few songs, you know uh -huh. but Definitely a lot going on in the mind of Lupe Fiasco right now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I mean, your lead single is about skating. Yeah. You know, a lot of people never heard of you before and talking about kick push, you know, like, I mean, a lot of the fans might not even be skaters, though. Right. You know what I mean? So how are you drawing these people into, you know, you, I mean, they're listening to a lot of artists, you know, they, they, they grab them in by, you know, like Jay-Z said, you know, you got to dumb down first and then get them. But, I mean, you're talking about real stuff and what right. you're into. I mean, what goes into that, though? You know, you're just drawing them in from the start, though, you know? Well, I always came with something left. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the industry right now is saturated. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So to just set yourself apart, you just come and do something different. Mm -hmm. You know, but mm -hmm. you got kids in the underground who do a lot of different stuff. But like I'm on a level where it's, it's going to get noticed. It's going to get NTV looks. It's going to get all these different looks. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to do something way to the left. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Just yeah. to shock everybody. Yeah. But, you know, the song Kick Push was just a good song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Outside of it being a skateboarding sure. record. You know what I'm saying? It was just a good song. And that's why you got a lot of people who rock with it. And it's open, so people put their own interpretations on the record. The song is inspired from skateboarders. You know, my man Ken, who, who, who lives in Chicago, who skates, the story is basically kind of like a rough draft of his life. Um, but it, it's open for people to just interpret it to whatever they want to interpret it as, you know? And that's kind of intentional on my behalf. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I like to leave my records open, you know, mm -hmm. where you can put your own thing on top of it, you know what I'm saying? Re make the record mean what it means to you, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And just keep rocking like that. So it's good. It's a good it's a good it's a good kickoff. It's a good jump over. We got a lot of stuff coming though like definitely. outside of that. Like the, the album is definitely not just mad skate stuff. It's like uh-huh. Yeah. Like it's gonna take you there. Yeah, let them know man. So definitely I mean a lot of people are excited about the album man. Let them know what's on the album, features, production, you know, what you got going on. Um it was executive produced by Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. You edit point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I got like uh, Kanye West did a joint for me. I did a joint with the Neptunes. Mm -hmm. um, I did a joint with Jill Scott. I did a joint with Mike Shinoda from Lincoln Park. Mm -hmm. um, did a joint with Needles. Um, my producers, Pro and Soundtrack, did a bulk of the album. Soundtrack did Kick Push. Um, I worked with the Kids Buchanan's. Um, you know, and it's a UK version of the album where I work with this kid, Sway, from over there, who's, who's, who's popping off over there. So, like, you know, not too, not, for me, that's not too much. That's uh -huh. kind of like, you know, people be like, yo, what are you talking about? You got bang, 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 bang on it. It's like, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm just my peoples. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it's automatic. So, uh -huh. definitely some good stuff on there. Okay. All right, I'll, so if people want to know a little bit more, man, I know you got the internet popping. Yeah, Let yeah. them know where you can check you out at. Um, LupeFiasco.com, MySpace.com slash LupeFiasco. You can check my blog, my sneaker blog on Hypebeast. Um, you know, all good. Hypebeast.com. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we do it, man. Distortion Aesthetic and Lupe Fiasco, man. Check them out, up-and-coming artists, and you won't. This won't be the last time you hear them, man. God willing. Peace.